Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can set a startup sound for Ubuntu, specifically in this case it's Ubuntu 20.04. Um, there has been a decline recently in startup sounds. When an operating start system starts, you don't hear a nice little sound anymore. It's kind of sad, actually. And I like, I like, you know, subscribers of this channel know that I kind of do like, uh, the start sounds of certain operating systems. Um, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can set one for Ubuntu 2004 here. Now, this should work for past versions of Ubuntu as well. However, I'm not guaranteeing that it is going to work on other Linux distributions. Um, you must have a, um, startup application, so application type thing with your distribution in order to make this work. But anyways, let's get into it. So, first thing first, you need to install a program called MPV. This is a terminal application that is a media player. It, um, you can send it a command to play a music file and it'll play it and won't pop up any other window or anything. So, we are, you're gonna want to install that. Uh, there's a couple ways to install it, but the fastest way that I'm gonna show you guys here is um, to open up a terminal, and then I've got a code in the description of this video that you can just copy and paste into here. It's sudo apt install mpv. And once you run that, it will ask you for a password, but I've already um, entered my password just a few minutes ago, so it remembers it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit yes, I want to install this, and I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to go down, it's going to download this MPV application, and it's going to install it on this virtual machine. Now, by the way, I have done the exact, almost the exact same thing for my um, host system here, I'm just, to e more easily show you guys, I'm going to do it here in a virtual machine. Alright, so now we'll just wait for that to um, load to install everything. It does take a little bit. Um, it also depends on your internet connection. It's, that, it's not that large of a package, so it shouldn't take too long. It should only take like a minute or two max. And um, here we go. So now you can go ahead and close that terminal. Now you're going to want to make, um, find your um, music thing here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into your file explorer here, your file manager. You're going to want to um, go into um, music here, your music folder. And you're going to want to create a new folder called um, startup sound. This will make it just easy, easier. This uh, tutorial, by the way, is um, intended for new users to Linux. Um, if you are already a user of a uh, pretty knowledgeable user of Linux, this isn't necessarily a tutorial for you. You should probably already at least have some idea of what to do here. So we're going to go into your this folder, and we are going to just. Um, copy this, um, the, um, music file, the startup, um, sound that you want into this, um, folder here. It looks like it doesn't want to do it because, um, we, no one is weird with this. So we're just going to copy that and control C to copy, by the way, and then control V to paste. And then that is our file there. You might also want to make sure that you can get this name here, so you can just copy that. And let's go ahead and um, just open up a text editor here and paste that in there just so that we have it with us. So now what you're gonna wanna do is in the description of this video I have another code like that's multiple lines here I also have it here so if I copy that what you're gonna want to do here is open up another text editor here so new window here also um, 
So we're going to want to go ahead and paste that code in here. And what you're going to want to do now is make sure that this name here is the same as that file that we have under here. So what you can just do is copy this file name here and paste it in right here. After this MPV space, you can just go ahead and paste it in there. And if you have any spaces, make sure you put a backslash before the space, otherwise it's not going to work. Alright, then you're going to go ahead and save the file. And you're just going to you're just gonna want to go ahead and save it wherever. I'm just going to save it into the base of my home folder here. Let's go ahead and call it startup. And um, we'll do all files and we can do .sh. Startup.sh and go ahead and save it. And then now we're gonna wanna make it executable. So we're going to go ahead and close out of all our windows except for our file manager here. We're gonna wanna go to where we say that before. We're gonna right click it, click properties, go into permissions, and check this allow executing file as program box. And now what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and open up startup applications. What you can, by the way, do now is if you open up a terminal, just to make sure that it's working, you can open up a terminal. And if it's in the base of your home folder, like it is right now, here, um, you're gonna wanna hit, you're gonna wanna type dot slash start up uh, dot sh right there. By the way, if you hit tab, well, after you hit the first three letters, it'll auto complete which is a cool little feature of the terminal here, and if you hit enter, um, it's kind of quiet here. You should be able to hear the sound being played. Um, it might not have come across very well in the recording there, um, but um, if you can hear your, your startup sound there, then you're all good. So now you're going to want to get our startup applications and what you're going to want to do is click add, call it whatever you want, just going to do startup sound. And then we're going to click browse here. And then we're going to want to open our startup.sh um, file that we wrote earlier. And you don't have to type in a comment if you don't want to, so we're going to click add. And there you go. So now if we go ahead and X out all of these things here, and if you go ahead and log yourself out, and log you out, now we, uh, we don't have a shutdown sound here, and as of this moment, I'm not sure if we can have a logout sound here, but um, later, but um, if we have like a that stuff such as KDE, we can do it that that way. But um, for right now, we have a startup sound, and it doesn't look like it's wanting me to log out for whatever reason. All right, let's go and log ourselves out. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, sudo system ctl restart gdm. I'm sorry. We can log ourselves out here. I'm just going to log us out here, and then if we go ahead and log ourselves back in, this virtual machine does not have a lot of RAM installed into it, um, so it's going to be working a little slower than your machine might be, that's okay. So if we go and log ourselves back in, and wait for it to load and as we log in, you will hear the startup sound. Just wait for it. Almost there. Yeah, our mouse. <laughs> I guess that this uh, machine is going to be a little slower. This virtual machine. Part I reduce and takes forever to log in. 
Come on. And here we go. There we go. Here's our startup sound. Alright, so there you guys go. You can also delete the original if you want to. Just don't delete the one that's in that music folder because otherwise um, it will not work um, anymore. Um, and if you want to um, not have that startup sound going anymore, and what we can do is go into our startup application once again. And we can simply go into our startup sound and we can just remove it and it's gone. Um, and then you can go ahead and delete our files that we've made earlier. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, all that code that I did will be down in the description. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, then go ahead and hit that like button. Um, if you, and if you enjoy some of my other videos, then go ahead and please subscribe to the channel. And um, I'll see you in the next video.